All right, hi people. It's Shakespeare. I'm here to do an unboxing for you guys today of Space Sheriff Sharavan, uh, the second in the Metal Heroes series and the third release by Discotech after Mega Beast Investigator Just Beyond and Space Sheriff Gavon. Um, so yeah, and to keep with the theme of a space sheriff, they kept the branding basically the same, just changing the name of the main character. So yeah. And also, apparently, I guess this was, I mean, this is the second we've gotten in full HD rather than having it SD on Blu-ray and everything because Toei remastered it themselves in HD in Japan. I really do hope at some point in the near future they'll remaster um, Just Beyond in full HD and then uh, Discotech can then re-release that on Blu-ray in full HD, but we'll see what they do there. Kind of surprised that just Beyond hasn't gotten a full HD remaster yet, considering, um, I believe it's popular in South America, like Brazil, I think, is where it's popular over here. And you'd think that they'd remaster just to release it over there, but, meh. So, yeah. So, here we go with the slipcover. You got Space Sher Sheriff Charvon right there. And a picture of his suit. I'm assuming this is a screenshot from the show that shows his ship. Close up with the helmet and everything. I do like the designs of like these um, suits and everything. So we got the side here. Got a picture of uh, the suit again. And then an English version of the logo, which they do have right here as well. And then Toku Time, Disco Tag, and it says TT5. That means Toku Time, the fifth release on this. Uh, Space Sheriff Gavon was the first in this line. Then you have. Um, Kamen Rider Black and Black RX, and then I believe a Tokusatsu film somewhere. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then you got the other side, which is the same stuff. And then on the back, step aside, there's a new space sheriff in town. A description of the series, some screenshots from the episodes, pictures of the villains, and all that. Uh, all that region A. And I believe the guy who played uh, Sharavan in this show, I believe he took a picture on, and put it on Twitter the other day before recording this of him having this Blu-ray release. So that's nice. That's really cool. So yeah, video 1.33 by 1, 4 by 3, slash 1080p HD, audio Japanese linear PCM 2.0 and subtitles in English, 51 episodes on 4 discs, 1200 minutes, unrated, and all that. So yeah, so here we go, and I love that they have the alternate cover right there, uh, just like they did for Gavon, and has some screenshots, it looks like, and another picture of him, and Just Beyond also had a similar thing going on, so I appreciate Discotech for taking going the extra mile and, like, giving us really cool um, stuff in regards to these releases like this. So, yeah. Although this looks like it's shifted over a little bit farther than it should be, like it's shifted over more to the left than it should be. Like this looks like it's not evenly uh, spaced. So, yeah. And then we have the uh, spine right here leaking onto the left side of this. Seems a little weird, but negligible. And you got the side right here, and on the back, which has the same stuff as the slip cover. And on the inside here, you got some inside artwork of <coughs> um, the ship, the English version of the logo. And then we got disc one, episodes one to 13, or about 13 episodes per disc. Disc two, three, four, and we got another picture of Charbonne right there. So yeah, so this is really cool. I'm very much hoping that Discotech will continue to license more Metal Heroes stuff, <coughs> um, and hopefully more Common Rider stuff as well. Since uh, Shout Factory is slowly and hopefully licensing more Common Rider stuff, I hope Shout Factory as well can license more um, more uh, Sentai stuff in the near future as well.
especially since going forward, it doesn't seem like uh, from what I know. Uh, Hasbro doesn't want to just keep licensing Sentai shows to adapt into Power Rangers. They want to do more original stuff. So it doesn't seem like Hasbro would really care if Shop Factory kept licensing more Sentai stuff, um, especially past where they didn't adapt and Saban didn't adapt. But yeah, so this is really cool. The next show would be Spielbahn, I believe is the name of the show. So yeah. Or Spielvon, however you pronounce it. But yeah, that'll be interesting to see if they eventually license it. They probably will. They've done three shows already. Why not just continue on? And hopefully they'll also be able to license the shows that were adapted into VR Troopers. So yeah, from the either late 80s or early 90s. So yeah, because I mean, <coughs> they were able to adapt, or they were able to get Black and Black RX. Black RX specifically was adapted into Saban's Mass Rider. So yeah, although Hasbro doesn't seem to have the license to that anymore. <coughs> I better stop while I'm while I can get ahead. So guys, that's basically it. So yeah, so link description all my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.